Can I ask you a question? I can't help you with that, sir. May I ask you something? I'd tell you if I knew, but unfortunately, I don't. Time to check your who, what and what, Sherry. Who are you asking about what and dressed as what? Is this familiar to you? Ex excuse me, what? I'm not sure I know. May I ask you something? I can't help you, friend. Do you know anything about this? Ex excuse me, what? I'm not sure I know. Hmm. Do you know anything about this? I can't help you, friend. Time to check your who, what and what, Sherry. Who are you asking? about what and dressed as what. Can I ask you a question? I'm so sorry. I can't help you, sir. Can I ask you a question? I can't help you, friend. Oh, I am bored. Call me when you find the answer. May I ask you something? Uh, don't take it personally, sir. Uh, but I know nothing about this. Is this familiar to you? I'd tell you if I knew, but unfortunately, I don't. Help me, please. I'd tell you if I knew, but unfortunately, I don't. This isn't working. You might need a different tack. Help me, please. I'd tell you if I knew, but unfortunately, I don't.
Come on, if you hurry, perhaps we'll see the ghost. This hotel, this island, it's full of thieves! First my cane, now the diamond. Take your hands off me! Do you even know who I am? Hey boy! That's my cane! I get that a lot, it's a very common design. What? No, that's a custom made! A joke, a joke. It was left at my table in the restaurant. I thought it deserved to be returned. Well, I'll be... It is rare to encounter a straight-fingered true penny these days. What a gentleman. But I must ask, how did you know I was the rightful owner?
Simple deduction. Your cane told me everything I needed to know. I was after a strong middle-aged man with a keen interest in adventure, noble blood, and affection for strong drink. And if one were to go further, one may even be able to extrapolate your name from your heraldic symbol, Lord Craven. Marvellous. Simply marvellous. That's me, Lord Andrew Craven. You are the real medium. You hear that, Emma? Well, you found my cane. Perhaps you can locate my diamond, too. Yes, you should do it. It will be child's play for you, Mr... Holmes. And if a child can do it, then I'm sure the local police can suffice. The police? Why bother? I know this Harlequin stole it. The only question is, where is it hidden? Fine. Give me my stick and I'll resolve the matter myself. This thief almost confessed after a single punch. Hmm. I suspect a beating may result in answers of questionable veracity. Fine. I shall spare you and he the trouble if you first answer me this. You insist the medium robbed you during the seance. But what occurred exactly? Ah! It was a dirty trick. We were sitting here in the dark, chanting and holding hands, as expected. Then something began to appear from the medium, like a, a cloud or a bubble. The swindler called it ectoplasm. Ah, yes. Common in the spiritualist trade, and quite the spectacle. Indeed. Perhaps too much. My beloved Emma screamed in horror, and I stood to defend her, attacking that cursed ghost. How brave. But my hand hit nothing. The medium jumped away from me, and Emma fainted. I lit the candle, and the diamond was gone. How does a priceless diamond become the subject of a seance? It is an unusual accoutrement. Emma wished to speak with its former owners. My grandfather told us it belonged to a Raja, an Indian king. So you were summoning long-dead Indian royalty, and, pray tell, you were expecting him to converse in English? To be frank, Mr. Holmes, I don't believe in ghosts. But Emma was fascinated by the idea of meeting a real king, even a dead one. Well, a crown is a crown. Can you describe the stone itself? A yellow diamond, not less than a hundred carats, and perfectly egg-shaped. There is not another like it. Stay here, and don't touch anything. I'm going to investigate further. Don't fret, I'll be keeping a close eye on this thief. Find the stone, Mr. Holmes, and quickly. <laughs> 